Jesus. We honor you, Abba Father. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We honor you. Nothing will take your place tonight, Jesus. Tonight, Father, we cast our cares, mighty God. Hallelujah. Tonight, God, we are hoping in the name of Jesus for nothing but your outpouring. Hallelujah. Father God, let your people be free to worship. Father God, let your people's eyes be upon you. Hallelujah. You are the author and the finish of our faith tonight, Jesus. Father Jehovah, you are. El Shaddai, we exalt you. Jehovah Kibor, we welcome you in this atmosphere. Mighty God is not by might nor by power. But it's by your spirit, hallelujah. So we ask the spirit man to be activated even right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father God, you're a God without limitations. And we take the limits of you right now, God of all the sin. Father God, let every self be slain in your presence even right now. Hey, glory. Father God. I honor you, Lord. I honor you, Lord. Jesus, I honor you, Abba Father. I honor you. Continue to worship God. Hallelujah. The word of God said when our praises go up, hallelujah, then our blessing will come down. He said he inhabits the praises of his people. Come by here tonight, Jesus. Pass us not, O gently Savior. Hear our humble cry tonight. Hallelujah. Father God, take the limits off. Let your people mind be upon you. Recognizing that when we look to you, all things are possible. Father God, we stand tonight in awe. Father God, here I am in your presence. A delicate position, hallelujah. Holy Ghost of God, release your presence upon us. Father, we can't do nothing without you. Every self will be slain tonight. Every self desire be slain tonight. Every self be killed at the cross tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, let the spirit man come alive from the pulpit to the pew. Shetol Sataya. You're a God that never lies and you never slack in your promises. You said call unto you and you'll answer. Hallelujah. And we are calling tonight. Come by here, Jesus. 
Come by here, Lord. Father, I will not move until you instruct me. Father, I'm incapable of doing anything without you. Father, I will not move without your instructions tonight. Father God, I will not move. Pour your oil tonight, Jesus. Pour your oil, Spirit of the living God. <laughs> From the crown of your people's head to the sole of their feet, Jesus. Let your efficacious blood, mighty God, stand before us tonight and take us, God, to every Red Sea. Mighty God, let your people worship like Miriam through the Red Sea tonight. Father God, let your people dance and play on the timbrel tonight. Father, we depend solely upon you. Every being of my body, let it be consumed by the Holy Spirit. Father God, let your Holy Spirit consume with burning fire. God, take the coal from the altar tonight, Jesus. Take the coal from the altar tonight. Consume your atmosphere. Hallelujah. Burn like never before. God, we call for the angels to be assigned to every perimeter of this premises even now. Father, we call God from heaven. Come by here, Lord. Speak, Holy Ghost, and your people will listen. Shadow Sataya Maku Sataya. Shadow be under Situ Masata. Father, we saturate the atmosphere. Father God, let the atmosphere be conducive to worship. Father God. Pour your oil, your oil, your oil, your oil, your oil, your oil, Jesus. Burn every doubt tonight. Burn every curse tonight. And help us to look to you, Jesus. Just one look. Only a look. Just one look, Jesus. about the name Jesus. 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 Glory to the Lamb of God. The risen King tonight. We block up and we root up and we throw in the fire now, God. Let your atmosphere be conducive to worship. Glory to the Lamb of God. Everything that exalts itself above you, we send it to the pit of hell tonight. Mighty God, you are God of all things. Lord of all lords. My God, we speak to the spirit of heaviness tonight. We speak to the spirit of tiredness tonight. And our cup are open and waiting to be filled. And we will not go the way we came, Jesus. Jesus. 
Mighty God, you're called from the altar even right now. God, under your instructions. Only under your instructions. Only under your instructions. My servant will hear. Jesus. 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 My God. Jehovah God. My God. My God. Only one glimpse of you, God. your cup open expecting for God expecting from Jesus just take your eyes off everything else tonight and take a look the second night of our feast just take a look just take a look mighty God this is your house take the stage Lord have your way I'm just a vessel. I'm nothing more. I'm nothing more. I'm nothing more. I'm nothing more. Jesus.
Father, we worship you. King of kings, we exalt you. Lord of our lords, the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. You are a glory giver, you're a glory carrier. Nothing God stands in your way, stands before you, and there's none like unto you. Father, we honor you tonight. As we open tonight, God, it's not by our might, it's not by our intellect, it's not by our power. It's about you, Jesus. And nothing will stand, God, and exalt itself other than you. Because, God, nothing takes your place. You said you're a jealous God, and anything that exalts itself above you shall be cut down. Tonight, God, we come humble before you because we know no other help. We said we look to you who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Tonight God Almighty we stand on your word. We stand on your promises. That is only a look. Only one look to Jesus and everything shall be okay. As you said you'll never leave us nor forsake us. Mighty God. Many have trust in horses. Many have trust in chariots. But over the years your people have learned to trust in you. And tonight, God, we know that you never lie, mighty God, and you're never breaking your promises. And so we stand, God, in awe of your expectations. Mighty God, we stand tonight in our second night of convention. Mighty God, we celebrate 37 years. Some are more than 37 years, God. But we are expecting that 37 years year appreciation to our life whether it's by a new touch whether it's by a new word but God we are expecting something from you God Almighty we will not go home the way that we come because every time we come to you there should be a result we need an encounter with you God and so if we're standing God at a crossroad even tonight we are asking you to send a Rema word that word that will break the yoke and make the difference. God, we place the preacher into your hands. Your word is already, oh God Almighty, anointed and it's already undiluted. I ask you, God, that as the man servant or your woman servant that is serving the word tonight will not compromise. Mighty God, it will be thus said the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, I place the musicians into your hands. I pray that their fingers, God, God, we'll pray that like David play. My God, our prayer mothers. God, our visiting prayer mothers. I thank you tonight, mighty God, that we're a part of the family of God. Because we're two or three are gathered, touching anything concerning you. You are in our midst. So we know, God, that we are more than two and three tonight. Mighty God, I place our bishop and overseer. My God, in your hands. Mighty God, you say heavy is the head that wears that crown. So God, I ask that you supersede his strength and let your strength replace his strength. God Almighty, remember his family. I pray you continue to stand with them. I pray that you continue to embrace them. Mighty God, our divisional overseers, our ministers, our preachers, our God Almighty mighty every workers of the vineyard our dedicated servants mighty God the visitors in our midst I place them totally into your hands God remember the heavy department continue to strengthen remember the minister of this house minister Vilma Barton elder Fitz and his wife remember them Jesus just remember them you know God that you are continuing to your riches and glory, there shall be provision for your people. God, breathe in the atmosphere as we leave everything into your hands. Anything we fail to ask of you, you're an omnipotent God, you're an omnipresent God, you're an omniscient God, and you know all things. Do it your way, Jesus. 
do it your way as we give you thanks in Jesus name hallelujah as you go back to your sleep just keep your hands and your heart open to receive from the master tonight in the name of Jesus Christ you have your Bible with you turn to Psalms 34 which is our theme scripture glory to the Lamb of God we recognize in Jesus to be the awesome and the only one who is the finisher of our faith. It's not about us. At any moment we start to think it's about us, there goes the interception of the Holy Spirit. God, take control even now in the name of Jesus Christ. The scripture is already anointed. If you hear it, let me hear it say, thanks, amen, glory to God if you find it. Glory to God, I'll read. Glory. It will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. That's Psalms 34, verse 1 through to 22. That's the theme scripture. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him and were enlightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamped round about them that fear him. And delivereth them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusts in him. Oh, fear the Lord, he is saints. For there is no want to them that fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger. But they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Come, ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desire the life and love it many days that he may see good? Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open unto their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil. To cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, and deliver them out of all their troubles. The Lord is a knight into them that are of a broken heart, and save us such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord deliver him out of them all. He keep the, all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay wicked. And they that eat the righteous shall be desolate. The Lord redeemed the soul of his servants. And none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. The Lord has spoken. Let the church say, Amen. blessed be the name of the Lord. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I now invite Sister Mikisha Williams to do the welcome and acknowledgement. Glory to God, Sister Mikisha Williams. Put your hands together and make her welcome at this time. Good evening and welcome to the Power of Faith Ministries International Grove Road Assembly. Pastor Campbell, Pastor Hibbert, Pastor Foster, can you please stand? Our brother and our sister from Chisholm Avenue, welcome. As we celebrate our 37th annual convention and the glory of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, it is indeed my pleasure to welcome all my brothers and sisters 
in this church this evening. Let us take the time to welcome Bishop Grandison and our bishop and founder, Bishop Dr. Delford Davis. Let us reflect on this day and give thanks to our Lord and our God with this passage. Psalms 27 and verse 4. One thing of high desire of the Lord that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Congregation, please put your hands together and welcome our visitors. Keep those hands together and welcome yourself. Now raise those hands above your heads and welcome the presence of the Holy Spirit. Exhausted, Leslie. Thanks. Thank you, Sister Makisha Williams. And those of you in by whichever medium you might be do using tonight, put your hands together for those that are viewing by the media. Glory to God. To God be praised. Hallelujah. At this time, we'll have the, the ministry of the visiting choir. But just to give time for the exchange of the choir, praise team, just do a quick song so we can make an exchange to the podium. The visiting choir this time is from Bagwak. Praise team, just let us do a quick song. Praise team. Glory to God. While the blood running warm in your veins, while the blood running warm in your veins, you better get salvation down in your soul. While the blood running warm in your veins. While the blood running warm in your veins, 
Continue putting your hands together as you make yourself comfortable and be ministered to by the men's choral from our headquarters church. God bless you. Shall we bless the Lord? Hallelujah. You can do better than that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tonight we celebrated you. 37 years of conversation. All the team. Look to Jesus and live. I can think of the songwriter who said, when I look back over my life, when I think things over, I can truly say, that I've been blessed, that I've got a testimony. Hallelujah, we bless the name of the Lord.
everybody ask you just who you are. You have met with a man and you take a look and today you are indeed redeemed. With no, it was a pleasure serving you tonight. Stand and put your hands together and make welcome at this time. Elder Fit in care of God and the Holy Ghost. worship hallelujah glory to the Lamb of God bless the name of Jesus give him some meaningful worship the Lord has brought us 37 years there is so much to be thankful for there is so much to worship him for there is so much to adore him for hallelujah if we could write it down on paper books could not contain the things that we are thankful to our God for. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We bless your name, Jesus. We glorify you, Lord. We exalt you, my God. Hallelujah. Come on, we are in convention. It's a time of rejoicing. A time of celebration. Hallelujah. 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 We bless the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, we worship you, O oh God. We thank you for your mercies. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your goodness. Mighty God, look what the Lord has done. Hallelujah, glory to the living God. We bless his holy name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Be seated for a minute, hallelujah. Hallelujah, when I, when I think about 37 years, Hallelujah. There have been so many ups and downs. Good God Almighty. There have been victories and there have been defeat. But through it all, God has been faithful. Mighty God. Through it all, we know that there is someone who loves us, mighty God, more than anything and anyone that we can imagine or think. Bless the name of Jesus Christ. I want to take the time and join with the announcer. And to bring greetings to our esteemed bishop, Bishop Dr. Delford Davis, a servant of the living God, hallelujah. And to his wife in her absence, Reverend Dr. Petrova Davis, hallelujah. They are indeed good examples, hallelujah. One that we can emulate and follow. We bless the living God, hallelujah. At this time, I'm going to ask our, our assistant general overseer, to bring greetings, Bishop Howard Grandison. Okay. At this time, I will now turn over to our bishop, Bishop Dr. Delford Davis. Please make him welcome. Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Lift up your hands and give him praise. Praise him like you really mean it. Hallelujah. God bless you. Be seated, please. Elder Fred, forget that I am the pastor. <laughs> Inter interim pastor. <laughs> That's all right. You're doing a fine job. We bless the Lord for you and your family and the Grove Road family. Amen. Amen. You know, I just took a peep a minute ago on couple of the YouTube channels that have live services at this time. And when I see a famous church with just a few people viewing, and I see Grove Road Church with over 1,200 people viewing on YouTube, I say, my God, something is happening here. Dear God. The Lord is good. All those who are outside, there is a place for you on the inside, so you could join us inside. Please, we'll be happy to have you on the inside. All right, I won't be standing before you long tonight. If I knew Dr. Grandison was coming here tonight, I'll just give him the charge and 
I stay home and rest tonight. Man, I've been running like a D9 bulldozer. But the Lord is good, amen. Bishop Dr. Howard Grandison, Assistant General Overseer, Pastor of the Bog Walk Assembly, we greet him well. I greet the leadership of Elder, uh, not Sher Sherman Fritt. Your son is Justin. I mix them up from time to time. They greet to he and his wife and all you wonderful saints here at the, this great assembly. We greet Minister Barton. We greet all the officers and leaders. We thank God for the men's scroll. We have been redeemed. Thank God we have been redeemed. We greet the prayer warriors. We greet everybody. We greet our guest speaker for tonight. Minister Michael Norman Mirage, he'll be sharing the word of God with us tonight. We greet all our viewing audience, you hundreds of people are out, out there, we greet you in the name of the Lord. We greet Dr. Hal Hibbert, amen, who is here with us tonight again. Anyone with you, sir? We were here in last night. Stand up, please, if you're here with Dr. Hibbert. Give them a big hand, please. <laughs> Is that Pastor Campbell? All right, the Lord bless you. That's the church at 39 Chisholm Avenue that we have been working with since uh, maybe May of this year. And we've been having wonderful times and we are going to different dimensions with time. Amen? Amen. And you'll hear more. All right, we're going to ask Dr. Grandison to bring us greeting and everything going to be short tonight. Okay, sir? No long nothing from nobody, okay? I want everybody to go home on time and come back on time. Because it goes on until Wednesday night, amen? So put your hands together and receive the Assistant General Overseer, Bog Walk Assembly. Bring us a greeting, sir. And they'll be coming in full number tomorrow night. Hallelujah. Somebody praise him. Come on, somebody give him a praise. Hallelujah. Great God, we thank God for this marvelous privilege. I want to greet God's servant, Bishop Dr. Delford Davis, his wife, Reverend Dr. Petrova Davis. Come on, put your hands together for them. I just want to greet our sitting pastor for the time being. Did I say sitting pastor? Elder, God bless you, sir. Good to have you and your wife. I want to give God the thanks for the preacher tonight. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I want to thank God for the choir Amen. and for the men from headquarters who sang so, such beautiful number. I want to give God thanks for the whole membership, for everyone on the, the floor tonight, 37 here. That time you didn't burn yet. Thirty-seven here. I was on this part of land, right on this part of land. Lord have His mercy. Look what the Lord has done, Bishop Davis. Look what the Lord has done. In spite of, in spite of the challenges, Christ is totally credible. The God that we serve is credible. He's able to do exceedingly. Abundantly above all we may ask or think. We bless the Lord Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished. He said, It is finished. Lord Jesus, if you can ever go back in time and see Jesus saying, It is finished, after they were doing all things. 
type of things to him. He said, it is finished. Man's redemption. Woo! Your redemption was complete then and there and then. Thank God for these 37 years. My time is short, so let me say thank you for allowing me to say just it is finished. God bless you. Bless you, sir. Bishop Dr. Grandison has been a permanent fixture in the Power of Faith Ministries International from day one. And he has been an outstanding person in architectural work, build most all of the churches locally. We give God thanks for him. And I remember when we came on this ground, you were here with me, Minister Davis, when we sighted this place and decided it was a certain type of all where some secret thing goes on. And we demolished everything and put up this beautiful structure under his leadership. Isn't that wonderful? God bless you. We got more, more, more work to do, Dr. Grandison. I preached last night, no more dying, okay? So we cease the dying now, we are living. Ah, you're not saying nothing. Touch yourself and say, no more dying. That means nothing about us must die. No health, no finances, no family, no nothing. We must live for the glory of God. Did you hear that, Minister Brian? The Lord bless you. We're getting ready to raise a night's offering. But let's get a greeting from Dr. Hal Ebert. Not sure you have ever agreed to this assembly. You did? Okay, wonderful. Well, bring a greeting in my hearing. Come, please. Come, please. Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. I greet our bishop and all of our ministers and everyone in the house. I want to say greetings to the convention. 37 years is a long time. And I just want to declare over this ministry, for the next 37 years, nothing missing and nothing broken. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Doc. I want to greet the media team from Portmore doing a fantastic job. This service is carried live on all our media platforms. And the large number that we are viewing. Got so many calls today from overseas. Dear God, Bishop, it's a wonderful convention going on there in Kingston. So all of you viewers from wherever, the Lord bless you. Amen. All right, let's prepare to worship in giving at this time. Everybody who has an offering, everybody who has a thousand dollars, take it out, please. If you have a thousand dollars, take it out. If you don't have it, you can't take it out. And if you have 500, take it out. If you don't have five, you can't take it. But everybody, according to your several abilities, give up your best. Be a blessing to this convention tonight. Amen. Amen. Yeah, let's be a financial blessing to this convention. Let us stand for prayer. Father, we give to you out of what you have given to us. And we thank you, Lord God, that you continue to favor us in so many ways. Send your blessing upon all givers and the gifts to be received. You know, Lord, that they will be used for the furtherance of the ministry, for your glory and for your honor. We consider the gifts as seeds being sown in a fertile soil. And look forward to the fullness of the harvest in the fullness of your time in all the ways that it pleases you. Gifts and givers are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Walk down and give your offering in these buckets, please. Come, Usha, stand down here. Don't you move out. Stand down here. Give us a chorus. Give us a tune position.
The reason why I'm living this life. Church, I don't want to be lost. I don't hear you. That I told you about the, the different dialects in which we sing. Now, if you come to Portmore to sing this song, it is song totally different from how you sing it here. You say, my God, what a difference. Go to St. Elizabeth, it may be different. Go to Bogwalk, it may be different. Different little twists and turns. But we do it the best in Portmore. Yeah, we, <laughs> we do it the best. God bless you, Minister Davis. The Lord bless you. I know you might be viewing. She want to be here tonight, certainly, but a little under, a little weather, but she be all right. Amen. Amen. Just we have her here on tomorrow night. God is good. This beautiful choir is getting ready to minister to our hearts. I want you to pray with them that the Lord will minister through them to all of us. Let's put our hands together and welcome voices of inspiration, Grove Road, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I'll say of the Lord that He's my defender. 
Glory to God. Come on, give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise and glory in the house of God. Praise and glory in the house of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God. The psalmist David declared it. Psalm 20, verse 7 and 8. Some trust in chariot. Some trust in horses. But we will remember the name of God. They are brought down and are fallen. But we are risen and stand upright. Let the king hear us when we call in him. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands, everybody. Sing it again. Some trust in trust the chariots of this world we will not trust the horses of this world we will trust the living God hallelujah 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 for my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus blood and right what do you say? I dare not trust the sweetest But only me. On Christ, on Christ, the song. Church on 
said, my God. I said, my God. I said, my God. Hey, Romo Satana. Rube Kesata. Amama Kosata. What if we do another verse? His oath is covered, not his blood. So pours me in the whelming flood. When all around my soul. And say, Thank you, Jesus. The Lord bless you. Remain standing. The preacher comes. Good to see you. Minister Neil Thorpe. The Lord bless you. Prayer warriors from Portmore. God bless you. Good to see some of you. Our preacher tonight is no stranger to pulpits. All kinds of pulpits at home and abroad, near and far. By far, he is the most engaged minister from among us in Portmore. By far, preaches in various settings. From government to private sector to schools to church to prison to everywhere. God has been using him. My God. He's getting ready to go on to St. Petersburg for their convention. October 15 to 18 thereabout. And we're happy to have Minister Michael Norman Mirage as an outstanding testimony of where the Lord has brought him from, what the Lord has done. Grove Road Assembly, over 2,000 people viewing right now across the world. Please welcome God's servant as he shares the word. Go ahead and give God a praise. Help me, help me praise him. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. And heaven and earth. Help me adore him. Help me adore him. He deserves it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome Holy Spirit again and again and again. Hallelujah. Do something tonight. Do something different. Do something unusual. Do it for us, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want you to put your hands together for the Lord one more time. It is always my intention not to preach long. My intention. 
It is all my intention to go quickly. But something happened in the, between the start and the finish. But I want you to put your hands together for our bishop and founder. General overseer, his wife, co-founder, Dr. Petrova Davis. Assistant general overseer, Bishop Dr. Howard Grandison. Minister Barton, Elder Fritz, and everyone, put your hands together for yourself. Two things before I get into the word and before you take a seat. This is the first time I've ever been in church and uncomfortable so. Because I came in and I saw Bishop sitting on the choir. So I went and sit on the choir too. Because there is no way am I going to take a higher seat in any church and the bishop is here. He said, go ahead and sit. You are the speaker. I say that to say without saying where I went, but he was there. And what was the instruction? And they said in the inner room that this is where the bishop sits, and this is where the speaker is supposed to sit. And all kind of big names. And when we march out to take up the right seat, one of the big names went and sat in the speaker seat. So there was no seat for the speaker. But I said, thank you, God, that when I have no cheer or no cheer, I am going to preach tonight. <laughs> Lord Jesus. So somebody help me praise God. Look by your seat and say, thank God I have a seat. <laughs> What a God we serve. Them don't get the speaker seat. After they receive instruction, and my bishop said, I will sit up here and give you the seat. Put your hands together for the man of God. Humility. Oh, I saw you clap. Humility knows no limit. From the book of Psalms 34, the convention scripture. I'll just read three verses and get right into it from verse 11. Almost halfway and finish at maybe 14. Come you children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who is the man who desires life and loves many days that he may see good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Father, in the name of Jesus, I stand here tonight, Almighty God, not with excellence of word and speech, but as a vessel that you can use in the name of Jesus. So wipe my mind, no clean Holy Ghost of God, and use me as you see it fit. Let a word of power, clarity proceed from my mouth. Lord, it is my desire that your people live free from all works of iniquity. That your people live prosperous. And that your people live wealthy. And that the workers of darkness be exposed even if they're among us in the name of Jesus. It is my sincere desire that every crystal ball in every room and every community and every parish and every part of Jamaica explode in the name of Jesus. It is my desire that every arrow that the wicked one has fired against your people, that we catch it in the spiritual realm, that we break it in the name of Jesus, that we send it back to the sender in the name of Jesus. It is my desire 
that every untimely death we say back to where you come from in the name of Jesus. No more dying in the name of Jesus. Yes, Holy Ghost of God. We look to you today for a fresh move, for a fresh anointing, for a fresh move that something unusual, that something different will happen in Grove Road in the name of Jesus. I pick 37 from Psalms 37. Fret not thyself. Oh, hallelujah. Let your people be bold. Let your people be courageous. For the workers of iniquity days are numbered. But your people shall live victorious. We give you all the praise and the glory and the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh, somebody worship him. Worship him. And be seated. The general theme for the convention, look to Jesus and live. Oh, somebody said, look to Jesus. And because I just make a promise that we will be out here in good time, I have to pick up the speed in order to keep that promise. So look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. If you're not in pain, say something. If your body is able, say something. If you're not afraid, jump up and say, Hallelujah, say something. Lord Jesus. A lot of people looking and they're looking in the wrong place. Oh, you're not hearing me. We have husband looking for wife. Wife looking for husband, the unemployed, oh, you can't fit it good. You know, it's a slim fit. You saw that chair, the big can roll on it. Never put one of them, look a small chair there. Lord Jesus. People looking all kind of things. The unemployed looking a job, am I speaking the truth? The man who is sick looking for better health. People looking for better doctors. Right now, some people even trying to find a better school for their children. Because they are not comfortable with the school that the child was sent to. Am I speaking the truth? People always looking. Right now, online, people looking for a service. Oh, you're not hearing me. Looking for a place where the undiluted word of God is preached. And they click on this channel. And they hear a lot of fancy talk. But they don't hear about Jesus. Oh, somebody help me praise him. They hear some fancy singing. And they hear some nice worship. But they can't hear about Jesus. But can somebody tell me something? Can a young man change his ways? Or can somebody get breakthrough and deliverance without Jesus? Can I get that? Can I get it? Can I find breakthrough up at St. Thomas in the bomb yard? Oh, you're not hearing me, you're not hearing Can I ask it again? Can mother give me the deliverance? Can captain give me the deliverance? Can I get better health at University Hospital of the West Indies? Can I get it at KPH? Where can I get the church? Oh, you're not, them can't hear you, them can't hear you. Them can't hear you, Grove Road can't hear you. I'm looking for good health. And them write me a prescription, amoxicillin, penicillin, panadol, cetamol, and all kind of prescription. And we still have the same problem. Oh, you're not hearing me, you're not hearing me. They put me under the x-ray machine. And then scan me from head to toe. Them do MRI, CT scan. And the doctor don't know what I'm going in on my body. Can somebody tell me? Do you have any way to carry me? Do you know what doctor can help me? Then tell me his name now. Yeah. 
too much people looking but looking in the wrong Lord Jesus say neighbor look the right place you could be looking in the wrong direction you could be looking on the wrong person I know we love Bishop and he's anointed man of God we're not troubling much tonight sir but certain problem Bishop can't help her wait oh you're not here in the church you know we love Bishop Grandi sir and the man Chang is his heart that boy man Chang and he's so elaborate tall and big but there are some Goliaths Lord Jesus anybody know who can deal with them Goliath there We're looking, but we're not look in the right place. We're not looking at the right person. Oh, you're not here in the church. If that is not the case, then Hebrews is wrong. Since there's such a great cloud of witness around us, according to chapter 12, and from the first verse, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily beset us. Let us run with endurance. Look for your neighbor and see a running time. Some of you walk too long. Run, go get your care. Run, Lord Jesus. And so let us run with endurance. The race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus. Somebody say, look, man, look, man, look, 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 look. Looking unto Jesus, who is the author. Oh, hallelujah. Some believe that Jacob could do it, but Jacob couldn't do it. Some believe that Isaac could do it. Isaac's blood is not pure enough. But the first time, Lord Jesus. All right, all right, all right. The psalmist tried to give us an indication of why we should look and to who we must look. Lift up your eyes onto the hills. Oh, come on, you're not looking, you're not looking. You're not looking, come on. Come on, quiet, you can't quiet up yourself. You can't have the kind of face there. You have to have on a bright face. You have to put on a happy face. All when you're going through the flood. You have to put on a happy face. All when you're going through the water. You have to put on a smiling face. All when the fire hot. So neighbor, laugh. Laugh at the devil. Laugh at the devil. Some of you give the devil too much credit. Some of you give the devil too much credit. So neighbor, time for laugh. Laugh off of Satan. Laugh off of Lucifer. Catch a witch and laugh. <laughs> I feel like some people must get it. You're sour too long. You're bitter too long. I don't care if your teeth white or yellow. Whether you miss a cup of teeth. And even if you have indenture. Take out your denture, put it in your pocket. And laugh. Love. No more dying. You the day last night. No more dying. No more dreams not dead. Oh, you're not here. No more dreams not dead. Them not kill no more plans. Them not kill no more hopes. Somebody say no more. No more. No more. No more. So what is my little contribution tonight? So neighbor, catch the vision. That's my theme tonight, catch the vision. Oh, you're not telling me, catch the vision. You see me looking every day, and you want to know where me I look at. It's about time you catch the vision. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. 
let me go fast let me go fast the psalmist said in verse 4, the Lord listens. You have to catch the vision of when a child talking to the father. And the father now reprimand you. He might give you an opportunity to listen to you. To hear what you have to say. Can you catch the vision, church? Can you catch the vision of a loving daddy taking care of a daughter? Of a loving daddy taking care of a son you see it yet you see it yet you have anything to tell him he delivers Lord Jesus have you catch the vision yet of a God that deliver some of you not catch it enough because God not come true for you yet but some of the back was against the wall when the enemy come in like a flood you have to catch the vision and the spirit of the Lord. You have to catch the vision. Lift up a standard. Some of you not see it yet. <laughs> you should have seen how close the devil came to take out some away. You should have seen how close mother came. How far the Obia reach. Them take out some nephew. Them take out some niece. Them take out some sons. And them who are some daughter. But them couldn't touch the anointing. The Lord delivers. You have to catch the vision. I heard a testimony. And when Bishop was giving the testimony, that's why the testimony stay with me. Because I visualize it. That there is a brother. That a brother means somebody in the church. If I mix it up, correct me next night. And they went to Obia. Man for the brother. And when the Obia man dig up and send the blow. And the blow no work. Him go back to the Obia man. He said, double up the blow. And they send the blow again. And the brother still a worship. And the brother still a praise. He go back to the Obia man. And start complaining. The Obia man said, I can't touch him. A ball of fire. A ball of fire. Look for your neighbor and say, neighbor, there is a ball of fire that is covering me right now. There is a ball of... You have to get the vision. Lord Jesus, you have to catch the vision. You have to be able to see what David was talking about. I know you always say it. I will bless the Lord, but you have to see a little further. You have to understand what he went through. Him say, he listens to me. He delivers me. He never put me to shame. A summer we were in some situation that could easily turn out for shame. But God said, no, 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 no. He encamps around his people for the angels of the Lord. Come on, can you see? Can you see it? Can you see it? Come on, go abroad. Can you see it? Can you get a vision? Lord Jesus, when I go home tonight, am I sleep in the bed with my wife? But we are not alone. The Holy Ghost is there. The angels. The angel of the Lord. Somebody say, cover me, cover me. You have to be able to see what is happening in the spiritual realms. Can I call Elijah right here? When Gehazi came out in the morning and saw warriors 
and saw the enemy and the enemy was covered all over the mountain and Elijah said shut up I told you not say good Elijah said shut up I told you can't say good sometimes you must tell some Christians shut up I because you can't say good make the large man talk make the free mace talk let Wobia man talk make mother to a card Make mother to a sugar, and because you can't see, God, if you catch the vision, hey, and because you don't catch the vision yet, and Eliza says, Shut up. Somebody says, Shut up, devil. Oh, come on, talk it low, so shut up, devil. Oh, come on, so shut up, Sambalat. Shut up, Tobiah. Lord, Lord, Lord. Glory. And Elijah say, open his eyes so that he can see, so he can catch the vision that those who are with us, tell the neighbor we're no further than them. We're no further than them. Look to Jesus. Look to Jesus. Come on, church. We're no further. Lord, Lord, Lord. Encourage somebody. Encourage somebody. So neighbor, we're plenty. We're more than the devils. Looking at your corner. Now watch who in the corner. Inside our corner is the undisputed, undefeated, heavyweight champion. Look. Looking at your corner. They couldn't defeat him. Hell couldn't hold him. Grave couldn't hold him. They couldn't convict him. But he was wounded. For my transgressions. Bruce. For our iniquities. The justice of our peace was upon him. And by his choice, we are here. I don't care what go on in your body. No more dying. Time for you to live. I don't know where in your pocket. Somebody put your hand in your pocket and say, too much empty space. Full up, full up, full up, full up. Come on, catch the vision, catch the vision. Catch the vision. Catch the... According to Romans 4, so you must learn to catch the vision. And verse 17, as it is written, I have made him a father of many nations. According to who believe, who give life to the dead. Somebody say life. Who give life to the dead. Speak those things that are not as though they were. So neighbor, catch the vision. We're moving on up. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Somebody say, hope, 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 hope. Up. You have to catch the vision. He can be trusted. He is good. Anybody know anybody better than him? Anybody know anybody better than Jesus? Can I ask it one more time? You know anybody better than Jesus? A certain woman can testify that Jesus is good. According to John 4, a certain woman, the Lord said, I'm going to show you something. I have need to go through. Somebody say, pass by me, Jesus. Come on, come on, come on, this is radical. Somebody say, pass by me, Jesus. Himself need to go to Samaria. Because a woman is looking at the wrong place. And she has looked for a long time. She has looked for the wrong man. She has looked for money. She has looked for happiness. And she can't find it. 
Six man and she can't find it. Six man and she can't get it. Oh, you not here, me church. Man can come Monday. Different man Tuesday. Another man Wednesday. Different man Thursday. A different man Friday. And even Saturday. But then comes a man. Lord Jesus. Then comes a man. Somebody said there's another man. There is a better man. There is a good man. Lord Jesus. And when she gets a taste, according to David, so oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. A wanting but a woman, yeah, she not selfish. It's a she drop the water pot. Somebody say, drop your pot, drop your pot, drop your pride, drop your ambition, drop your ego. Somebody say, come on, church, help me. So drop your pride, drop your ego, drop unforgiveness. Somebody said, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. It's a wall you don't, it's a wall you don't. Drop it. Water was precious. Water was precious. Water was valuable. Oh, no, 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 no. Can I say that again? According to the scripture, water even more precious to she. Because she can't take the criticism. So she has to come out in the boiling sun. When nobody else now catch water. Oh, you're not, you're not understanding. You have to catch the vision. Put your hands by your neighbor. Say, neighbor, stop read Bible alone. Start visualize Bible. Start to see the Bible. Let the Bible come alive. Can I say that one more time? Stop reading the Bible. And say, I eat that. Start visualize the Bible. Start activate the Bible. Start live like the Bible. Start do the things in the Bible. Visualize it. You know a Bible study, and you go home and cut the same way. You have Bible study, and you still are carry malice, and because you not visualize it, pursue peace. It don't mean the people them peaceful. It don't mean them I leave you to live peaceful. But the Lord said, when you come against the bulls. Peace. Speak peace. Somebody say peace. The lady come out to catch water in at the boiling sun to see a bucket of water is more precious than somebody who catch it in the morning and catch it in the evening. To her, that bucket of water might be equivalent to ten buckets. And there was no plastic. It means the buckets were made of clay. I slow it down for a minute. I want you to picture it. And the Bible says you drop it. It means water that way. Bucket mash up. You have to pay a price to see Jesus. You have to pay a price to see the Lord. You have to pay a price to see the Jesus. You can't just see him so. How you not take something out of your eye? Where you get that from, minister? Him say, pick the beam out of your eye. So that you can look clearly. Say, neighbor, help me look, help me look, help me look. Him He teaches righteousness without God as our teacher. We would all be lost. All we like sheep have gone astray. And we have turned 
everyone his own way but the Lord has laid on him he is a good and righteous teacher who watches over us and he is against every form of evil today bishop was on time of refreshing and Proverbs 4 I jump right into 14 do not enter the path of the wicked nor walk in the way of the unjust avoid it turn away from it and move on These people will take your focus off of Jesus. Oh, you're not hearing me. They will take your focus off Jesus. But you have to catch the vision. You have to catch the vision. Is the what are you talking about? Habakkuk 2. And verse 1 to 3. Habakkuk said, I will stand my watch and set myself on the rampart and watch to see what he will say to me. And what will I answer when I am corrected? Then the Lord said to me, write the vision, make it plain on tablet, that they may run who reads it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it will come. It will not lie, though it tarries. Wait for it, tell your neighbor, wait, wait. Look to Jesus and wait. Because it will surely come. It will not tarry. A closing. Just in case. All of you here. And all of you are online. Don't understand. This theme, according to the general overseer, founder, and bishop, our apostle, Dr. Delpha Davis. Just in case you don't understand, I ask the Lord, show me. And this 37 convention, I'm no prophet. I said, oh, show me. You look to him and he will show you. Let him tell Jeremiah. Look to me, and I will show you. It's no secret. I am not special. I am no prophet. 33, Jeremiah 33 and verse 3 says, Look. Where did Bishop get this theme from? Lord said, go and read the church vision. It is our mission to create an atmosphere of abundant life that Jesus offers. It is. What is the theme? Look to Jesus and live. The man of God went back to the foundation of Power Faith Ministries International to restart Grove Road. Yeah. To restart go of road. To say, Lord, send on Holy Ghost power. So that go of road will be charged up again. So go of road will be on fire again. Oh, you're not hearing me. You're not hearing me. You're not hearing me. Send Holy Ghost fire. Too much preaching about money. 
Too much preaching about house. Too much preaching about health. I know you want good health. I know you want better house. I know you want a car to drive. I know you want money. But look to Jesus. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. To foster enrichment to spiritual and intellectual interaction enhanced by excellent service. I am here to serve you. When I come inside here, you are above. The bishop assign you. When I come here, I come to serve. We don't understand that. Over headquarters are up shoulder, but in here you're up here, so I come. We not get it with excellent service. Serve the man when on the money. Serve the go-go when she come. Serve the homosexual. Serve the shatter. Oh Lord Jesus. And it never stopped there. So, John 10 and verse 10. The section B of the verse. I am come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. Somebody give God a praise. The Lord said, I am come that they might have life. And have it more abundantly. The Holy Ghost, your time for go of road. Start look back to me. So, hallelujah. Somebody say, look to Jesus. Look to Jesus. Look to Jesus. Look to Jesus. If I call Paul, according to Colossians 2, he said, for in him dwelleth all the fullness the Godhead bodily and we are complete in him who's the head of all principality and power and if I go in the third chapter in the sins you believe that Jesus have been raised from the dead look to Jesus who is sitting at the right hand of the father Him say, look to Jesus who is sitting at the right hand of the Father. Can I just jump over into the third verse? For we have died and our life is hidden in Christ in God. So neighbor, look out and look in. But look to Lord Jesus. Stand to your feet, everyone. Stand to your feet. Catch the vision. Catch the vision. Moses wanted them to catch the vision. And in Deuteronomy 30, on the last two verses, 19 and 20, Moses said, I call heaven and earth as witness today against you that I have set before you life and death. Tell anybody, catch the vision, catch it. Bless him and curse him. Therefore, choose life that both you and your descendants may live. That you and your descendants may live, that you may love the Lord your God, that you may obey his voice, that you may cling to him, for he is your life and the length of your days, and that you may dwell in the land which the Lord has sworn to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, 
and Jacob to give them. I ask you tonight, not with excellence of word, not with the power of preaching, not from a ministerial point of view, but as a child of God. Can you catch the vision? You see, Isaiah tried to share a vision in chapter 6. He said, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, high and lifted up, and the train of his throne. Fill the temple. Above it stood seraphim. Each one had six wings. With two, he covered his face. With two, he covered his feet. And with two, he flew. And one cried to another and said, Holy! I wish I had some people tonight who can catch that vision. Holy! Holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the paws of the door were shaken by the voice of him who cried out. And Isaiah said, Whoa, I am undone. Can you catch it? Can you catch it? We are not worthy. We are not worthy. We are not. It's from my eyes. I've seen the King, the Lord of glory. For I am a man of unclean lips. Can you catch the vision? Can you go off road? Catch the vision. Can headquarters, can Goshen, can Bagwalk, can Knightsville, can Brooklyn, can Bronx, can St. Petersburg, can Miramar, can Canada, can you catch the vision? One of the seraphim flew to me, having a life call, which he have took with the tongues from the fire. Oh, can somebody tell me, say, can you visualize it? A man who is a sinner, a man who cursed by the word, eyes of sin, the king. The Lord, I know you see it, Bishop. I know you see it. Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? I know you don't see it yet. Because you see it, you're going to make a show. You don't see it yet. You don't see it yet. You don't see it yet. And I say, I say, also heard the voice of the Lord saying, Who? Lord, Lord, Lord. Who? Will go for us. Who shall I say? Can you picture the answer? Can you picture the answer? Can you answer the Lord tonight? Can you help Isaiah? Isaiah said, send me. Can I get some help? So send me, Lord. Send me, send me. Somebody in the jugs, they need help. Somebody in the bar need help. Somebody in the bar need help. Somebody in the go-go need help. Somebody in the lodge need help. Somebody want help. Somebody want help. And 
organizers. The Lord said, go and tell these people, keep on hearing, but do not understand. Keep on seeing, but do not perceive. Look to Jesus and live. No more dying. Catch the vision. Look to Jesus and live. No more dying. Catch the vision. I say that one more time. Look to Jesus and live. No more dying. Catch the vision. And if you're standing there and the vision is getting clearer to you, walk down, walk down, walk down. Don't come to the seat. When your seat come, when you catch the vision, that it's not about me. It's about Jesus. When you catch the vision, come. Come on, church. People are here. They're looking in the wrong place. They need somebody to teach them where to look. But you first have to catch the vision. Blind can lead blind. You have to see where Grove Road is going. Else you will be pulling back Grove Road. You have to see where power of faith is going. Else you are going to pull back. You have to catch the vision. You have to be able to see why we go in a prison and preach? You have to be able to understand why preachers will spend 30000 to go to the country and preach and get $5,000 traveling. You have to be able to catch the vision. If you don't catch the vision, you won't sweep church. If you don't catch the vision, you won't clean the windows. You won't come out to prayer meeting. If you can't see the vision, you can't participate. You are a liability. You are not an asset. Because you just don't know what we are doing. That's why in the book of Hebrews, he said, by now, you ought to be teachers. Look how much time the bishop preached. Look how much time he lay hands. Look how much time he anoint you. Some of you baptized three times. You wear the best clothes. If keep praying and fasting, if fast with you, or you still can't see the vision. You complain about who I exhort her, who is evangelist. Who will get the office of beacon? Why them send hell of fruit? Look how long. Me in a power of it. You miss the point. You miss the point. You are not seen straight. You need another touch. You are like that man that Jesus touched. And Jesus said, can you see? He said, I see man like trees. You need another touch. 
You are a member for 20 years, but you're still nasty, right? Yet they are from 10 days, but you can't see the vision. Yet they are from poor church, and you still don't even read the vision statement. That the mission is to create an atmosphere for the abundant life that Jesus offers to ALL. To foster the spiritual enrichment and intellectual to enhance it to excellent service. And the man of God, back it up. John 10, I am come. That's what power of faith is here for. Not here for your offering. Let the hypocrites them online. Say we are preaching money. And hypocrites even in headquarter church. So we are going like a boss. You are better than people. It's about Jesus. It's about Jesus. Looking unto Jesus, who is the author and finisher of our faith. We are not perfect. That's why we're still in the church. Because if we were looking at one another, we got a long time. The mash we can but we're still there. They tell life away, but we're still there. They stab when we're back, but we're still there. So you never see the stab. When I look to Jesus, I never feel it. You never hear the lie. When I look to Jesus, he defend me. It's when I look to Jesus, Things make sense. It's when I look to Jesus, I realize that those who are not looking are born to hell. It's only when I look to him, I know the difference between life and death. Blessing and cursing. Is when I look to Jesus. It is then I understood the difference. But I want you to be able tonight to catch the vision. Can you stand everywhere and sing this song? Come, everyone who is that is that everybody calling up? If you, if you start to see clearer and have to finish now, if you start to see past the hurt, then you need to come. If you start to see past the things that are hindering you, you need to come. Because you, you have to catch that vision of corporate worship. The, the songwriter pencil these words and could only have pencil you have to help me sing it because he caught onto something when he said father I stretch my hands to thee no other help my hands to thee come on church Come on, look to him, man. Look to him. Look to him, church. Look to him, man. Look to him. Can we just do the first dance one more time and stop? Everyone lift up their hands. 
Come on, church. Worship time. Get up on your feet if you can. Somebody need to see what the Lord has in store for you. You look into your supervisor. And the supervisor can't help. You look into your manager. And the manager can't help. Look to him, man. Look to him. Look to him. Look to him, man. From the bottom of your heart. From the bottom of your heart. Look to him. Can we do it one more time? Can we sing it again? That's it. Look to him. Look to him. Yeah, man. Receive. Look. look to Jesus man of too much pride man must look to Jesus look to the Lord look to the Lord how does the second verse how does the second one go Bishop I do believe look to him man look to him man that's it that's it that's it yeah, man, we're done. We're done. We're done from here. So we're done. Yeah, man, we're done. Stir up something, man. Stir up. Stir up the gift. Stir up the gift. Stir it up. Stir it up. Stir it up. Stir it up. Yes! That's it. That's it. That's it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's it, my brother. That's it. Don't quench it. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I saw it fear. I saw it fear. Look again. Look again. Look again. Lift up your hands in this place. Believe again, man. Believe again. Believe again. That God can do it. Believe again. That he will come true for you. Believe again. Believe again. One more time. Believe again. That's it. Believe, man. Believe again. One more length. One more mile. One more. One more furlong. One more valley. One more valley. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. Believe. Lift up your hands and, and worship. I do. That's it, my sister. Victory for you. Victory. 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 That's it. Victory. Ha. Keep that focus on the Lord. Keep that focus. Keep that focus. Keep your eyes on the Lord. Look to that hill. Come on, church, look, 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 look. Hallelujah. The one last time. I do. I must. Glory to God. everybody who has not given their life to the Lord come down let me pray for you if you are here and you have never given your life or your backslider come on come let me pray with you 
If you're here, don't be afraid. Come, let me pray with you. She's fine right there. She's fine. Come on, mommy, Tanji. Come, my sister. Come, my brother. Come, my sister. Come. Come, my brother. Come, if you're here. tell you I can tell you this all of us maybe I am chief among the people who were never looking to the Lord we look everywhere I am not going to call the people nor am I going to call the places we all know them. And we look for help. We look for deliverance. We look for breakthrough. Some of them even charge with for the supposed help. And the help never come. Some say them get help, but they were tricked. So I know what are we are look? We are looking for better every single day. Better for a family. So we are looking even harder. Because we went through the hunger. And we say, my son and my daughter, now, nah. so we are going to go do it. Look it. And instead of some of us make life better, worse and right now some of us children are living worse than how we used to live and it's supposed to have been better because we are look in the wrong place and we are looking at the wrong people can I tell you something you already are in the right place you're in the right place. And even at the altar is a better place in the right place. But no more you look to the right person. Because it's not to me. It is to Jesus. You look to me, I go into my car, I go home. Never see you again. But he never leaves you. He walks with you talks with you. Would, would you like to be with him today? From the bottom of your heart. You hear me say? I read where I come from. I killed my father from my tree. Mother work in a kitchen. We know we look in a hall kind of place. Yeah. My, my mother used to say she have to look it for me. But there come a time when we have to stop look in the wrong place and look in the right place. There are times when we have to stop looking at all the wrong people and look to Jesus, the right one. So if you want to look to him, just, just raise your hand. The right hand. Come on, lift them up high, man. If you feel like I would have looked to him. You really want to look to him. Come on, man. Keep them up, man. Don't make the devil make you feel shame. Look to him, man. Don't feel shame. Bow your heads and your heart. Because your head is easy for bend down, but we don't know where your heart is. Bow your head and your heart and repeat after me, dear Jesus. Say it loud, man. Dear Jesus. The whole church, stand to your feet and repeat so that them don't come like them deep on stage. Dear Jesus, I stand before you tonight and your people and I ask you, Lord, to forgive me of all my sins. Wash me of all my transgression. Those that I remember and I don't remember, 
And I promise you, Lord, if you keep me, I will follow you. Hold on to me, Lord. Hold me tight, Jesus. I have been wild in the past. So hold me tight and never let go. When I walk home, hold me. When I go back to work, hold me. When you see my hypocrites, cover me and hide me from them, Lord, so that I don't lose my way. And Lord, I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth that you, Jesus, is Lord. I believe in a birth. I believe in a life. I believe in a death and your resurrection and that you're sitting at the right hand of the Father. And I promise, Lord, to follow you from this day forward forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, somebody help me praise him. No man, I leave it, man. It never so hard. That's it, you know. That's it. Stay right here so that I'm going to talk to you. No. I want those who have, have been calling a sickness and they have two more minutes and you claim it. I want you to stand and say it's not mine. Can I ask the people, I'm going as the Lord lead me. Two minutes and the two minutes start. You're having some trouble, you claim the trouble. You say, boy, I'm full of trouble. It's not your trouble. I see it on trouble. You have some sickness, it's not your sickness. I see it on sickness. If I'm talking to you, stand to your feet quick, no man, and see we are close. Thank you very much, ladies. It's not your sickness. It's Satan's sickness. Send it back to the devil. You ready? For, yeah, yeah, send it back. In the name of Jesus. No more dying. Time for you to live. No more prescription. Time for you to live. No more spending of money on medication. Time for you to be healthy. In the name of Jesus. I decree it and declare it. Healing from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. In Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, somebody give God a praise. I am delivered. Naturalize, see. And if you need to take a second look, ask God to touch you again to get that second look. God bless you. Thank you, Minister Mirage. It continues on tomorrow night in the will of the Lord. It goes through on to Wednesday night. We invite all of you to be back. Uh, men from Portmore, all of you need to be back. We are going to be meeting with 
Lots of men here tomorrow night, so not one is, we should be absent. We have a choir coming in also. And the Lord is doing his thing. God bless everybody. Lift your right hand with me. Father, we thank you for tonight's blessing. We thank you for the vessel that you have used to pour into our lives. We thank you, my God, for the over 2,000 persons on YouTube who stand there and sat there and enjoy the ministry. We thank you for all that you have done in and through us tonight. Continue to keep your hands upon us. And grant, O oh Lord, that the vision will be made clear to us. So we can run with it as we read it. In Jesus' name. Amen. Grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father. The full fellowship and communion of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Rest, remain, and abide with us all. Now and forevermore, everybody say, catch the vision. God bless you. Have a wonderful rest of the night. Thank you, social media. Thank you, everybody, for viewing. We'll see you again tomorrow night. God willing. Praise God.